Have you ever pondered about the long-term effects of space travel on humans? Imagine being confined in a spacecraft, far from the comforts and routine of Earth. What would it mean for your mind and body? Would you emerge stronger? Or would the isolation, the microgravity, and the cosmic radiation take their toll? It's time to delve deep into these questions, shedding light on the fascinating yet complex realities of space travel. Join us as we embark on a journey to explore the effects of long-term space travel on humans, from the moment of liftoff to re-entry. Imagine yourself strapped into a spacecraft, ready for liftoff. Your heart is pounding, your adrenaline surging, as you brace for the adventure of a lifetime. As the countdown reaches zero, the engines roar to life, and you're propelled upwards at breakneck speed. This isn't just any journey, this is a voyage into the unknown, a mission into the cosmos. Now let's talk about what's happening to your body. The intense G-forces pull at you, pushing you back into your seat with a force many times greater than gravity. Your cardiovascular system works overtime, rushing to supply oxygen to your straining muscles. Blood is drawn away from your extremities and forced into your core. It's a feeling unlike anything else, a physical challenge that matches the mental test of venturing into space. As you ascend into the cosmos, the real journey, and the real challenges, begin. Once you're in space the concept of up and down becomes irrelevant. And in this weightless world, the human body begins to adapt in peculiar ways. Picture this. When astronauts first reach this microgravity environment, their bodies start experiencing changes almost immediately. The most noticeable? A sudden growth spurt. Yes, you heard it right. Astronauts can grow up to two inches taller in space. This happens because the spine, no longer compressed by gravity, expands. But don't get too excited about this space-induced growth spurt, it's temporary and comes with its share of discomfort. Now let's talk about something that's not so fun, bone density loss. In space, our bodies are under less stress since they're not working against gravity. This leads to a decrease in bone density at a rate of about 1% per month. To put that into perspective, it's similar to the bone loss experienced by a postmenopausal woman over the course of a year, and unlike that temporary height boost, regaining lost bone density is a long and uncertain process. Muscle atrophy is another challenge. Without regular use and exercise, our muscles begin to waste away. Astronauts have to exercise for about two hours each day just to maintain their muscle mass and cardiovascular health. Even then, some loss is inevitable, and it doesn't end there. Even our eyes are affected by life in space. Some astronauts have reported changes in their vision, a condition known as Space Flight Associated Neuroocular Syndrome, or SANS. This is thought to be caused by the shift of bodily fluids towards the head in the absence of gravity, which can change the shape of the eyes and cause vision impairment. While living in microgravity might seem fun, it presents serious challenges for the human body. Yet it's these very challenges that push the boundaries of our understanding and inspire solutions that not only help astronauts in space, but also benefit us right here on Earth. Beyond the physical, space travel takes a toll on the mind. Imagine being hundreds of thousands of miles away from everything you know and love, your family, your friends, even your favorite coffee shop. The sense of isolation can be overwhelming. Astronauts who spend extended periods in space can experience feelings of loneliness and isolation that are far beyond what we might feel when we're home alone for the weekend. This isolation can lead to stress, anxiety, and even depression. It's not just the distance that's isolating. The constant communication delays with Earth can also contribute to these feelings, making astronauts feel even more alone. But that's not all. The change in environment also affects the sleep patterns of astronauts. The International Space Station orbits the Earth every 90 minutes, meaning astronauts experience 16 sunrises and sunsets each day. This rapid cycle can disrupt the body's natural circadian rhythm, leading to insomnia and other sleep disorders. Sleep deprivation can have serious effects on mental health, including decreased cognitive function and mood swings. Then there's the impact of living in a confined space. Astronauts live and work in a space no larger than a six-bedroom house, but without the luxury of stepping outside for a breath of fresh air. This lack of personal space and privacy can lead to feelings of claustrophobia and tension among crew members. It's like being on a long road trip with no stops, and you can't get out of the car. Despite these challenges, astronauts are not left to fend for themselves. NASA and other space agencies provide psychological support to help astronauts cope with these issues. They undergo extensive training before their missions to prepare them for the mental challenges they may face. 
Regular check-ins with psychologists and family members also help them stay connected with their lives on Earth. In the vast expanse of space, the mind can be as much a battleground as the body. As we continue to push the boundaries of human space travel, it's clear that the mental health of astronauts is as crucial as their physical well-being. Returning to Earth is not as simple as it seems. The journey back home, just like the journey into the cosmos, presents its own unique set of trials and tribulations. For astronauts, re-entry is much more than just a physical journey. It's a psychological odyssey, too. As our brave space explorers descend back into Earth's atmosphere, they're suddenly exposed to the familiar yet forgotten force of gravity. This abrupt transition can have a profound impact on the body. Imagine going from a world where you could float freely to a world where every step feels like lifting a boulder. The body needs time to readjust and regain its earthly strength. But it's not just a physical challenge. The sudden shift in environment can be disorienting, leading to what is known as space motion sickness. This is similar to the feeling you get when stepping off a merry-go-round, except it's much more intense and lasts longer. The body's vestibular system, which controls our sense of balance and spatial orientation, gets thrown off kilter, leading to dizziness, nausea, and even difficulty walking. Re-entry also brings about a significant psychological shift. Astronauts have to readjust to life on Earth after spending extended periods in the isolation and confinement of space. They've seen our planet from a perspective few others have, and returning to the hustle and bustle of life on Earth can be overwhelming. The reintegration into society is another aspect astronauts grapple with. They've experienced something so extraordinary, so unique, that it's hard for others to truly understand. This can lead to feelings of alienation and a struggle to reconnect with their old lives. But it's not all doom and gloom. Re-entry also comes with a sense of accomplishment and a newfound appreciation for life on Earth. Many astronauts talk about how their time in space gave them a different perspective on the world and their place in it. It's a reminder of how precious our planet is and how interconnected we all are. The journey of an astronaut doesn't end with landing, it's just the beginning of a new set of challenges. But with every challenge comes an opportunity for growth and understanding, and for our astronauts the journey is well worth the ride. So, what does all this mean for our future in space? Let's break it down. We've journeyed through the challenging liftoff, the peculiar life in microgravity, the psychological impacts that come with the isolation of space, and the dramatic re-entry back to Earth. Each of these stages presents unique challenges that astronauts have to face when they sign up for long-duration space missions. Firstly, we have liftoff. It's not just about the thrill and excitement of blasting off into the cosmos. The intense g-forces experienced during this phase can have an impact on the body, causing temporary discomfort and disorientation, but it's not something that our astronauts can't handle. Rigorous training and preparation ensure that they are physically and mentally equipped to endure the stress of launch. Life in microgravity, on the other hand, is a whole new ballgame. Extended periods in this environment can lead to muscle and bone loss, vision impairment, and other health issues. But don't worry, our space agencies are already developing countermeasures to mitigate these effects. From advanced exercise equipment to specialized diets, they're doing everything they can to keep our astronauts healthy and strong. Then we delve into the psychological impacts. Space is a vast, empty place, and being isolated from the world can take a toll on one's mental health. Astronauts may experience feelings of loneliness, depression, and anxiety. To combat this, they undergo extensive psychological training before their mission and have regular check-ins with mental health professionals while in space. It's not all about physical fitness up there. Mental resilience is equally important. Finally, re-entry. The return to Earth's gravity can be a shock to the system after months in microgravity. Astronauts often need time to readjust to the feeling of weight and balance. But with the help of rehabilitation programs, they're able to make a successful transition back to life on Earth. Understanding these effects is crucial as we plan for future space missions. As we aim for longer stays in space and even the colonization of other planets, we need to ensure that we are doing everything we can to protect the health and well-being of our astronauts. As we continue to push the boundaries of human space travel, we must not forget the toll it takes on those brave enough to venture into the cosmos. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments. I wish you all love, happiness, kindness and a peaceful sky.